It's 2017 and ultimately we live in a world that is very PC and it's about equality and opportunity for all and other, other good stuff. So the last video was about the 11 hottest women in professional wrestling as I saw it. So now to make sure that we're not offending anybody and we're not leaving anybody out and that we give equal opportunity and equal representation here, I present to you the OTRS Central list of the 10 hottest men in WWE. This should be something. Oh, it'll be something. Let's kick off the countdown. We all want to walk with Elias. We'll all do it on a whim. The guys are all really jealous. Cause the women all want him. Oh yeah. I'm just a lonely wrestling fan. Don't matter what none of you say. Elias is a sexy man. Admitting that don't make me gay, it don't. That's Carmella. I mean, ultimately, one of the guys with tits in WWE has to make the list, don't they? So you have to choose. Carmella, Charlotte Flair. You at least have to give credit to Carmella because she at least makes some type of attempt to try to come across feminine, to try to look like a lady. Charlotte Flair... Not so much. Ladies and gentlemen, the dick storm here, baby. And I gotta tell you, it feels good to be back. And you know it's true. Now, it's only masculine to admit when a man has it. And when we talk about a man having it, woo, we got to be talking about the cowboy James Storm. He's a man for every woman. He drinks beer, has long hair, and he kicks ass all along the way. And all that with an accent that says, drop them drawers, bitch. If they young, if they old, they white, they black, it don't matter. They all want the cowboy. And the cowboy give it to them all. Woo! Ride the dick stone, baby. Like the ladies wish they could all ride. The Cowboy James Stone. I'm Strowman. He's just a country boy looking for love. And his Tinder profile says so. He is country strong with masculinity that is miles long. If you are not down with Braun Strowman making this list, I will come and yoke you up. Braun Strowman is one of the sexiest men. In WWE. Period. AJ Styles absolutely positively belongs on the list. You think they just call him the phenomenal one based solely off of his exquisite, extravagant, numerous in ring achievements and in ring skills? Oh, partially. That's why he's a phenomenal one, but that's not the only reason. Ask his wife and all the babies she's given him. I mean, you look at AJ Styles, that kind of quasi-emo look, looking like he's mid-twenties, but he's in his forties now. He can't quite grasp what stage in life he is. Here's what I know. AJ Styles is one of the best motherfucker wrestlers in the world. And the ladies love him, and the guys want to be like him. Don't listen to the Schleg Daddy. Finn Balor is a stud. S T U Demon Stud. He's an awesome wrestler and a future world famous male underwear model. Calvin Klein, you better be calling this young man. The Schleg Daddy's just hating because look at Finn at age 36. Look at the Schleg Daddy. Look at Finn. Look at the Schleg Daddy. Back to Finn. Back to the Schleg Daddy. Back to Finn. I mean, it's not even a competition. The ladies love him, and deep down a lot of the guys wish they were him, and probably a few guys that want to get with him, and I'm not judging, there's nothing wrong with that. Marcus Smart doesn't swing that way. 
Although the Bullet Club, thinking about that gives me urges. Ask Brie Bella's uterus about Daniel Bryan's sex appeal. That's really all I need to say. But again, we're talking about Daniel Bryan. Yes, 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 we're going to talk a whole lot more about him. His appeal is that he's real. He is all man. He is the everyman. He is the personification of what anybody would want to be in this world. How could he not be? He's the best wrestler in the world. He had the best WrestleMania main event of all time. He is the best SmackDown general manager in the motherfucking world. And think about it. He's the breakfast club killer. Like, you look at Daniel Bryan. There is something reassuring about his presence. There is something comforting about it. And you know someday, someday, it doesn't matter if it's Hogan, Austin, The Rock, any of them. They all know the truth that if Daniel Bryan ever enters the Royal Rumble again, the fans will join along with him, and the American Dragon will go on to win the Royal Rumble and go on to main event WrestleMania and become the next WWE Champion. Oh, I'm about to spoil right now. Daniel Bryan is a sexy man. We all know it to be true. I know it to be true because he's the best motherfucker in the world. Leave tattoos, baby oil, construction worker beard, baby oil, breakfast club member, more baby oil, 13 time world champion, even more baby oil, and three words that seal that deal, raging ring boner, nah. <sighs> think of hottest men in WWE. You think about somebody that the guys want to be and the ladies want to be with. And when you think about somebody like that, who else comes to mind but Triple H? Think about it. He married into the McMahon family. He's got a spot for life, a cushy gig, a nice salary, and he's been able to make a few daughters with Stephanie. Not a bad day's life work if you can get it. Talking about a 14-time world champion, pushing 50, still looks like he's in his early to mid-damn 30s. I mean, he can rock the jean look with the taint sweat. He can rock the suit like nobody's business. He could rock the short hair like the Schleg Daddy can. He's got that nose that when he's going down on Stephanie, she's asking if he's going to stick a finger in when they're 69. And he's like, oh, God, yeah, he will. But it's actually his nose. I mean, just think about this. The guy still to this day can get big four main event pay-per-view spots where Survivor Series is all about setting up several future pay-per-view matches, several future WrestleMania matches for him. He's the leader of the Breakfast Club. If that doesn't make him arguably the hottest man in WWE, I don't know what does. And ultimately, above all else, we call him God for a reason. While you pray to things you can't see, I choose to believe in something that is real, something that you can see, something that you can hear, something that you could feel, that you could touch. It's Hunter. Hunter Hurst Helmsley. Hot, hot, hot. I don't think anybody with a brain disagrees with that one. Ugh. Romy Reigns is the sexiest man in WWE, the hair, the muscles, oh, I love him and want to have his pops. Roman Reigns is the hottest thing to ever come in WWE. Hell yeah, bitches. Roman, love yous. Love you, Roman. Call me. Well, that brings us to the end of the 10th day of OTR Essential Christmas, talking about the 10 hottest men in WWE. Ladies, feel free to chime in in the comment section with your thoughts on your 10 hottest men in WWE. And fellas, it's okay to acknowledge if you think another guy is hot without having to sit there and feel some type of way about yourself. So don't come at me in the flaming keyboard fingers of fire fashion that you love to do. Because I, mean, I, I can tell deep down a lot of you have you know, heterosexual man crushes bordering on non-heterosexual man crushes on certain individuals in the WWE, I'm just saying. But remember, 
This is OTR Central, and sometimes it's not the wrestling show you want, just the wrestling show you need. Make sure you tune in next time for the ninth day of OTR Central Christmas. I promise you it'll be another good one.